everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so you all you ask and i shall deliver dun, 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 dun. this is my brother aj that's his nickname <laughs> We have done, I think we did two videos when I started this channel. I will find them and I will link them above, y'all. That was when I first started. And you all were like, please, please have him come on because he can tell us about some of the, the men's products and all of this. So I got him to agree to come on camera. He's acting like he's going to be all quiet and whatnot. But in a couple of those videos, he took shots at me, y'all. So well, that's because I was talking about your stuff. <laughs> we're talking about my stuff. Well, yeah, okay. So we're talking about his stuff. So let me see if I can take some shots at his stuff, okay? Even though <laughs> I be picking out most of the stuff, so they'll be like, <laughs> saying my taste isn't good. <laughs> so I guess I won't be taking any shots. Okay, so he has quite a bit. I asked him to pick some things that he would recommend for the upcoming SAS. So I'm, I'm just gonna start with mm, the fragrance mist. I'm gonna hold him up and cause he was like, I don't know what to say. So I'm gonna hold him up and try to guide him through asking questions, you know, and see what he says. So this is one I know he really likes. This is Fresh Coconut Colada. This has notes of coconut milk, vanilla rum, and pink hibiscus. This was out, I believe, the summer SAS. And I, yeah, and I told him about it. And I was like, you need to check this one out because I think you would like it. So... I know this is one he wears a lot, as you can see, and this was a big compliment getter for him because I asked him so I can tell y'all some stuff with different combinations. So you tell me why you think that's a great fragrance mist for the fellas out there. Well, I think this is a great fragrance mist to mix with your water fragrances. Is that your what do you mean by water fragrances? You mean like super fresh? Yeah. Well, give give an example. Tell like, them one of your favorite combinations with that one. The main combination that I use with this one is with Hollister Wave 2. And this just complements Hollister Wave just excellently. So much so that anytime I wear it at work, I get compliments from um, parents, from teachers, from students. They just say, oh, Mr. Adrian, you smell so good today. I said, thank you. <laughs> okay, he said, oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so the next we're going to talk about is sweater weather. The, oh, the notes are on here. Suncrisp apple, autumn leaves, orchid, orchard woods. So, you know, this is a classic. Why do you think it's a great recommendation for the fellas? Well, I know on me, I can wear this by itself and it doesn't smell feminine. On me, it just smells like a regular cologne, but. So it pulls yeah. like a cologne on your skin. Yeah. And that's one thing I want to mention to any, I know it's a few men who watch my channel, but for the ladies who's purchasing for, you know, your fathers, your brothers, your friends, whatever, know that just because it's marketed towards women or marketed towards men, that. I'm the one, I think I'm the one who got you into trying you these do. different fragrance mists because we like to smell good. We just, we've always been that way. And I was like, some of these, I know it smell good. So just because it's marketed to women, don't think, oh, I can't wear it because body chemistry is so different for men and women that we can put on the same thing and we smell totally different. Like we wear a totally different scent and it can be the same thing. So that's why I really wanted him to not just focus on the products that are marketed towards men, but some of his favorites that can be for anyone. Sorry, I don't remember if I cut you off or not, but that's a little brother syndrome. I can cut him off if I want. Okay, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, I don't think you cut me off. Okay. <laughs> I, I said what I said. Okay, so I don't remember. So, oh, cologne. Yeah, cologne. Cologne. So this is a nice cologne. Would you say it's only for the winter? I mean, the fall or winter are year round for you. Fall and winter. And if you live in a actual climate that gets all four seasons, 
you could start wearing this early fall. In Texas, I had to wait <laughs> until October or cold when cold fronts um, came through. Okay. So don't wear it when it's hot. All right, so this is a newer one that is definitely gonna be at the sale, just like that sweater weather should be. This is Twinkling Midnight Sky, has notes of midnight flower, sparkling vanilla ice blackberry. This is one I purchased to review, could not stand it for myself. And when I can't stand something, or it's either if I don't like it for me, I'll let him smell it, see if he would like it, or I get something and I know it's something that he would enjoy. And I'm like, you check that out or I'll just get it for him. So tell us why you like that one because it was not a hit for me. Oh, I'm sorry. I like this one because it smells like snow. You get snow from that? <laughs> that artificial smell of snow. I'm a, I'm a winter addict. You know, now that you say that, I can kind of get this like a like a berry snow like a touch of that candle i like which candle is it called winter wonderland well, I don't we know. get it every year we get winter yeah winter okay it has a touch of that in there and it's like okay see he's making me try to like it y'all i'm going to resist i'm going to resist <laughs> and even though it's sweet on my skin it smells yeah. It has like a minute sweetness to it. It's not that strong, but it mixes well with my Scotch Porter fragrances. Okay. So this is one of his absolute favorites. So you're gonna see why when I show you. This is Kaleidoscope. Do y'all see how much he has left? Look at that. So you just take it away, cause that's, that's bae. So this mix mixes with every single one of my fragrances. <sighs> <laughs> Especially the Scotch Porter, the Porter House. I pulled a lot of compliments with that last, the, yeah, this past summer. And even with the mask on, people could still smell me. Okay. And on me, I would say this smells like, do you remember Blue Sugar? Yes, I do remember Blue Sugar because story time, I wanted that fragrance from Aqualina and that was when, you know, I was younger and stupid and I was like, he was like, you don't need that for men. You're not getting the same fragrance as me. And I was like, and I loved it because I didn't like Pink Sugar until recently. Loved it. Now I'll be trying to hunt that down and can't find it. So go ahead. So this is like a tamer, a tamer sweetness of Blue Sugar on me. And it may be like that for other guys who, if they have similar chemistry to, um, of mine. Okay, so since I know how much you love this, if you saw this at SAS, how many would you get? Six. Oh, okay. I've never bought that many of the same. So that is top tier on his list right now for SAS. Because that's, And that's also year round. Okay, so year round. What about fresh coconut colada? I forgot. Is that just your summer, spring, summer? Spring, summer, early fall. Okay. All right, so this is white pumpkin and chai. This is one that I love on myself also. This is cinnamon cider, spice pumpkin, and vanilla glaze. Why do you like that one? You see, I like this one because let me try to remember. <laughs> now, this is just a very soft fall fragrance would you say it's only not, fall or winter too well i did wear this recently on one of the really really cold days and you can i can really smell it well okay let me yeah. ask you on your skin do you get a lot of the pumpkin or do you get a, more of a spiciness on me i got more of a spiciness okay so this would pair this pairs well with um what did i wear oh nick jonas and John Barbatos, Barbados, that cologne, and... That's a real popular cologne. And what other one? For a celebrity scent, it's fire. Wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and Bad Boy, Carolina. Ca Ca yeah, Carolina. Carolina <laughs> Herrera. Oh my goodness, Carolina. All right. So next, well, let's go to some that we hope might be there. This is Denim and Daisies. I think I had this in mind also. This is Sweet Daisy, Sunwashed Denim, and Summer Citrus. 
Was I the one who told you about this one too? Okay, I, I'm not trying to take all the credit, y'all, but you know. Okay, so there, tell us why you like that. I like this one because it's, for me, it smells like a soft, powdery scent. Okay, so some guys are here, oh, soft, powdery scent. I'm going to like no baby. So tell me how it pulls on you, what you like to pair it with, and what it smells like, what you, you know. I actually like to pair um, this with my heavier fragrances, like Club de Nuit. Okay, that's heavy. Bad, I not think. bad boy. What's that bear? Oh, Moschino? Is the, the pair with? <laughs> I can't wear that on my wrist and stuff. That, that has to be underneath clothes, it's too strong. It actually gives me out my out So you never paired that with it? So that's too heavy, okay. It's, what was your? heavy fragrances to kind of soften them and also okay. add a nice a nice freshness yeah freshness okay I just like the way it's nice too. yeah it does smell good really good all right so let's go to one I think this might have been one of the first ones I think this is what got you mm -hmm. started I is it yeah yeah or was it sweet whiskey well give it away Adrian just give it away <laughs> Okay, so this is Bonfire Bash. This is vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. I don't know what made me think to tell you about this, but ever since then, he's been loving it. I think we were at a semi-annual sale, and I said, oh, I think you would like this, and it started. The obsession started. That's what people tell me. I've had people at work telling me their husband said, quit listening to Sean. <laughs> okay, so why do you like that scent? Well, mainly because the notes. Okay. Um, bourbon, sandalwood, and musk. And even though it has vanilla, creamy, and cashmere in front of it, this still works for men. Mm-hmm. Because on me, the, it, you don't really smell the vanilla or the creamy or the cashmere. You smell the bourbon, the sandalwood, and the Musk. So on your skin, you get like a boozy, woody scent. Okay, yeah. so would you, is this one you wear on its own or do you always pair it with something? Mm, if I'm going to work, I pair it with something. But if I'm just going out and about, I wear it by itself. Okay, so is this one that's year round for you? Mm. No. Okay, what about, I forgot, what about Dead of the Days? Is this yeah, year-round? That's year-round. Okay. So this is what, fall, winter? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so since he already said it, sweet whiskey. This has notes of golden amber, vanilla-infused whiskey, and sweet red berries. Okay. So on me, you can really smell the whiskey, but the, I guess it's the berries and the golden amber, it tones that whiskey note down and just smells like a... Not fresh. Well, I guess, like I said, it smells cozy. Like a, a cozy comfort in the autumn season. Let's see. Hmm. How does it smell on me? I just wore this last week. <laughs> and I have a bad memory. Oh, yeah, I wore this with that solid cologne that I got from Duke Cannon. Bourbon or something. Oh, yeah. And it is on me. It smells like I don't want to say an old uncle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, that doesn't sound appealing at all. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe like in the those old movies when you went to like the saloon. The, no, that's the Western times. Oh well. Like in the thirties and the forties, when they would go drinking and stuff. The nightclubs. Yeah. Okay. It smells like that. I don't know how a nightclub smells, you know, today or whatever, but <laughs> it, definitely, it smells like a classy nightclub. So let's say in today's, you want to go, you know, you're not about that clubbing. So let's say a nice like jazz club or something. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So year round, fall, winter. I would say year round but during the summer only and during um during the nighttime okay all right so let's go with fireside flurries 
This is Toasted Marshmallow Pink Lavender Cashmere Woods. This is one I talked about also. Now, I have a small story with this one. Oh. I wore this to the class party or whatever it's called for, for, for the children have. And <laughs> one of the parents came up to me and said, hey, bro, you smell so good. What are you wearing? Wait, wait, wait. like well i'm wearing what what i wore cologne with this which one was it it was the nick jonas and john I, but he loves Marvelous. that i said well oh, you know i'm wearing nick jonas and um something called fire um fireside i didn't say you want to say flirts <laughs> i didn't say flirts uh -uh. <laughs> just not manly <laughs> i said well yeah they sold it at bath and body works so what did he say? He said, oh, I got chicken on me. All right. <laughs> okay. But, you know, I mean. Okay. <laughs> this smells like. I see one of the notes. <laughs> He's up yeah. there, but say it. I'm not you. <laughs> um. Yeah, you, you, on me, you can smell the marshmallow. And the lavender mm. and the woods. You just the sweetness is there on my skin, but it's not prevalent. Let me ask you. So we we all know this is. Let me ask. You, does, is this similar to Bonfire Bash to you? But way less smoky. Yes, but I yeah. wouldn't wear this by itself. Okay. So does the marshmallow? Because you said you didn't get the vanilla and everything in this. So the marshmallow that you get in there is that a smoky marshmallow on a man's chemistry? Yeah, it's like you just. Pull the marshmallow off of out of the fire pit. Oh, okay. All right. So, ladies, all the men that are out there watching, just get fireside. Don't say flurries. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I can't wait on this with sleigh rides and snow. <laughs> so the notes are smoking icicles. <laughs> Fluffy balsam and vanilla bourbon. Now, I just got that for him. So, I don't know if you worn it yet. I don't yet. think I've worn this one. Okay. But why would you recommend it? Because when I smelled it, I thought of you too. I thought it's unisex. I think there's something about bourbon. Mm -hmm. I like um, fragrances that contain bourbon notes. He likes that boozy. <laughs> and also, it just reminds me of winter. It makes me want to yeah. go to the Midwest. No, it don't make me want to do that. I never go to work. <laughs> yeah, I think this would pair well with my what cologne is it? You can tell I'm not really a fragrance person. I reach up and grab, sniff, spray, and go. You are and a fragrance mix. person. Look at all this stuff you got recommended. Well, yeah, I recommend it, but I don't, you know, just I don't treat it like a science. I'm like well, that's what you do with Larry. It's not a science. You know what I mean. Oh. Hmm. I know with um, the Porterhouse and maybe Miami Duffy. I think that's what it's called. Miami what? Duffy. Duffy. Yeah. Duffy? I, I don't think it's Guppy. Oh, that special. name is awful. <laughs> okay, is I don't know Miami that Duffy? way. From where? Scotch Porter. Okay. So you think that would go well with those couples? Yeah, it's light fragrances that have um, strong notes that it would complement it well. Okay. All right, so Ivory Cashmere. This is one I think I had in mind. Also, this is Fresh Lakeside Air, Silver Musk, and White Amber. Now, this one, this pairs with my, well, with my, um, what is it called? Like the dressy colognes. Bougie. Yeah, bougie. Bad bougie. I can't think of one now. Where oh, did you Chanel. just read? Yeah. Did, I, did, I, didn't I? Which one did I wear for my, with my graduation? Okay, y'all. So he just graduated from college. Woo, woo. And he wore 
because I was helping him pick it out because that was fun. I was like, what you gonna wear? So he paired Chanel, um, oh, all, all day blue, all day blue Chanel, what's it called? Chanel. Blue. Okay. Chanel blue. And he paired it with this ivory cashmere for his graduation. And I was the best smelling graduate. <laughs> okay. It gets, it's very classy. Like I said, this is to me a bougie, soapy, fresh, and I don't want to say perfumey. I would say more cologne. Mm -hmm. Like, so how does it pull on you? Well, on me, what do you mean? I mean, is it is it soapy? Is it cologne like? Is it shower? For, how? What do you get? What vibe do you get when you wear it for the men out there? Kind of shower fresh. Okay. Because with um, Chanel Blue, I hope that's what it's called. Blue Day Chanel. Yeah, that's what one of us said. Um, it really. Well, she Shanice told me to go for it an executive scent, yeah, and this <laughs> this really brought out the. Um, it's James Bond. I don't know. Double seven. Yeah, it made it, it made Chanel blue day da. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, blue da la dee da da da. I hated that song. He wore that song I still out. Love it. Oh, hate it. It gave a smoothness to it. Mm -hmm. Like, no matter what I was wearing, I smelled, I guess, like genuine. <laughs> what do you mean, like genuine? Smooth. Do you. You know the 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 singer, no pony. Oh. My. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So the next, the last fragrance mist that you know is for everyone. This is Sunrise Woods. This has notes of creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, cozy cat pony. What in the world was that? Okay. I, here, boy. I can't <laughs> sing. I won't wear this by itself. This it just smells like lotion. Oh. Like, what do you mean? Like if Jerkins was sold, I guess, from the body shop. So you mean like an elevated lotion scent? Yeah. Not quite bougie, mid-range? Yeah. So it gives you a- It's mid-range. Mid-range lotion scent. Like, uh, are we talking woody lotion? Are we talking basic mm -hmm. lotion? What, what are we talking here? I would say a basic lotion. Oh, so what would you layer with it? It doesn't seem like you really love this one, so why are you recommending it? Well, no, I do. It's just, this it, This just offers a nice undertone scent. Okay, so. That makes sense. What, I can't remember if you said, would you wear it by itself? Yeah. Would you wear it year round? Oh, yeah. Ivory Cashmere, year round? Yeah. Okay, so what cologne would you wear with that? To give an idea. This actually smells like a cologne I've owned. That oh yeah, you were trying to remember that. I wonder if it's an Avon one. Probably, it smells like it. Avon. Yeah. Our mom so, used to get him Avon cologne, me Avon perfume. Any of the Scotch Porter fragrances, um, Hollister fragrances, I have both of those. I think this would pair well with that, with those. And what is that man that you gave me? Killian. <laughs> Killian. Killian. Yeah, I think I can't remember which one, but one of those Killian fragrances. Okay. So, w when would you wear it by itself? Like summertime? Yeah, yeah, summer nights. Okay, but this is predominantly you want to layer, mm -hmm. but it's good for like a, a, an array of fragrances that you're saying. Yeah. Okay. It's very. Whatever the Versatile is. Yes, college graduate, you should know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. Now, like I've been telling her, my brain is burnt out. It's still recuperating. I get it. I get it. I mean, I do it. I be at work sometimes. I'm tired. I'll be like Googling how you spell this. <laughs> okay, so these fragrance smiths we're going to talk about are what are they called? Body sprays, these are actually from the men's collection. And sometimes they go on sale for 50%. I know some you find for 75%. Mm -hmm. So um, 
let's just start with, I guess, the newer ones. This is Noir. Now tell us, you know, why you like that. I like this one because, you know, just like the name, it, it smells like an old-timey detective trying to solve a case for one of his dames. Okay. <laughs> it, it's just, a, it's a very classic manly scent. Or I can't smell it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It just smells very manly. Okay, and with this one, he... It's not a lot of the times he wants the full collection, but this one, would you re you recommend shower gel, everything for this one? That's yeah. how much he loves it. And hopefully it'll be on sale. If not, you know, you'll know to keep a lookout when they have better sales. This is another one, classic flannel, cutest packaging. That's so cute. I love the Noir and that in the packaging. That, great for gifts. Now I'm actually wearing this today. And I like this because it's just like, it's subtly sexy. Now I ain't saying all that. <laughs> and I'm smelling well, it on here. It, it, <laughs> it makes me feel subtly sexy. Like, like a play, a play, a play on. Yes, but only during the winter. This is, this is a very warm smelling fragrance. Okay, so this one, he has the lotion. Would you want the shower gel in this? So no. if this is on sale, would you get a backup of any of these sprays? Or are you content? Yeah, because these sprays, they run out very quickly. Okay, so both are backup worthy to you. And with this, you would like the shower gel. Wow, okay. I would have seen Kai Peaches, but I don't want to. Uh, who, who, what? That's a song we've been listening to while we've been out. Well, what did it say? No, baby girl, you, uh, no, it's pretty girl, you like Peaches. What does what this flannel got to do with Peaches? Down. No, I, I just thought of that. You just want to sing to a girl. Oh, excuse me? Okay. You hear that out there, ladies and gentlemen? Flannel makes you want to step to a, to a girl. Gives you say, I'm fly. You know, I can step. So that's what that gives you? That's what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So this is the one I think I like the best. This is Whiskey Reserve. I can't wait. Oh, you're not telling the notes. Adrian, <laughs> so I'll, well, well, I was doing that, my bad. Flannel um, has notes of fresh bergamot, patchouli spice, and sweet amber. And Noir has notes of black cardamom, okay, that's the M, smoky vanilla, and a hint of musk. I said musk, not must. Okay, so what about this? And Whiskey Reserve has notes of crisp apple, single malt whiskey, and white oak. He wore that recently. Was that when we went to see Spider-Man? Mm -hmm. So that smelled good. Now I have to say that I would love to smell that on a uh, on a guy. Yeah, this is also I was gonna give it a, <laughs> a rating, but people probably know who I'm talking about. Um, whiskey Reserve. You don't even though the, the title of it, smell it is whiskey. You don't really smell the whiskey. I would say with this one, if you like sweet whiskey, yeah. you'll like this. I, I do. I, I really like that one. This is like the, um, what do you call that man who chops wood? Wood chopper. Are you, are you asking for a name? Well, the brawny man. If The brawny? <laughs> the paper towel. Oh, the <laughs> A wood chopper. <laughs> This is manly. <laughs> this is this is manly. Okay. <laughs> Did you want the lotion? Yeah. And this then the shower gel. Yeah. Okay. I have to say, with this line of Bath and Body Works men's collection, they outdid themselves. This line is excellent. Okay, so this is one. I think you found this at SAS that started because you had like turned your nose up at these body sprays. Like, damn, I'm not 
For some reason, you wouldn't want them. They never, they smell just like Axe body sprays. They, okay, they that's unique. what you said. So this is the one you found for 75% off, right? Mm -hmm. And started you paying attention more, right? Okay, so that's the backstory. You tell us the, the notes. So this is a cooling body mist, but I used it as a um, fragrance too. And it's just, you know, I can't see. It has notes of coconut, wa coconut. <laughs> coconut water. Seaside lavender and wild palm, and this is this is the ultimate summer like a cooling mist scent. Does it cool you? Yeah. Okay, and the name is Oasis, by the way, guys. Yeah. It just makes you ready for summer. It smells kind of. Oh, like, that smells good. I like that. Was it seaside cotton? But add coconut. Yeah. It adds like a tropical beachiness to it. Yeah, I really like that. So, if this pops up at SAS, would you want another one? I have four. So. Oh, oh, so this was already backup worthy. Okay. All right, so here is Legend. I don't um, know anything about that one, really. Oh, I, after I say the notes, I, I think um, you'll remember it. This has notes of bergamot, rich oak, and sandalwood reserve. This smells, I think this is the one. Dusty. I think this is the one that smells just like. Why did you do two sprays? Look at it in my mouth. Let's see. It's, this is the one that smells like Mont Blanc Legend, but I, it's the white one. I can't, it's, it's not the black Mont Blanc, it's the white one. Yeah, and that's the one, you would always get compliments when he would wear that. He mm -hmm. had uh, teachers asking him so they could go buy for their husbands. So if you all see Legend and it smells like a high end cologne, because Mont Blanc is how much? Is it over a hundred? I don't think so. Well, it's, it's close to a hundred. Okay, it's not. How much is this? Thirteen fifty. <laughs> so, and how do these last long? What would you say their lasting power is? Mm, I would say their lasting power on a scale of one to five. Mm, uh, Three point seven. So average. Yeah, but average. If you, okay. If you have the body wash and the cologne, not the cologne, the body wash and the lotion, then it lasts much longer. Okay, the last uh, body spray we have is fresh water. And fresh water has notes of Italian bergamot, mountain spring water, and oak moss. So I'm curious, does that smell just like, oh my goodness, why? You... He sprayed his leg about to fall over. Wait, wait, if you can't smell it now, go turn and take a deep couple of deep breaths of just air. Okay, now. It, just, it smells like it with the um, name, fresh water. So shower fresh clean. Yeah. Does it smell soapy? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I would wear this one. Wouldn't you say women could wear this? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. I want this. Do you have extras of this? I have to take the closet. I think I do. I think one or two. I'm tempted to spray this on me right now. This smells really good because I'm always looking for like a fresh water scent. And this to me has a, a powderiness to it. I like that. Fresh water. Okay, so those were all. Well, I see one other that could be considered a mist. So this is Hot Spring Spa Essential Oil Mist. I'm so mad I didn't get me any. Talk about them. Well, I don't wear this as, on my body. <laughs> I only spray this in my shower or in the tub when I'm decompressing. And I especially, oof, the mornings, I'm like. Tss, 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 really? Yes. Does it help? Mm-hmm. Oh, I hate I didn't get me some. So if you like essential oil mist, get some. Especially during the semi-annual sale, because that's the only time I buy them. I'm not paying full price for this stuff. <laughs> so yeah, and I I think I mentioned in one of my videos this hot spring spa, this whole line. In fact, you know, let's just go ahead and he can talk about this one. Sunrise Yoga. All of these were so good and they were 75% off, and I should have gotten some. And hopefully I'm speaking loud enough. I keep forgetting just to talk louder. Yes, I use uh, this on the mornings 
when I go to work and I just don't want to go. <laughs> it just wakes me up. It says to inspire balance and vitality. It doesn't do all that, but <laughs> it, it helps get me out the door. And what does it smell like? Thank you oh, for telling us your backstory. What does it smell like? Mm, like a spa. You know, let's see. What does it say? Mandarin oil. It smells orangey. So citrusy. Yeah, citrusy. Uh, spearmint. It smells minty. And juniper berry oil. Is I guess it, it smells like that too. right citrusy minty i don't get much berry yeah so that whole line hopefully some of it if you see any of it at sas it's good for men women everyone that stuff is great okay so let's just keep with aromatherapy tell us about this oil well, let me show them. energy so i only use this when i take bubble baths and i don't mind saying i take bubble baths i work hard and pay taxes <laughs> So if I want to take a bubble bath, I'm taking a bubble bath. Why he why he put that bass in his voice when he say bubble bath? <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta let those um, people know. <laughs> and I really like to use this if I take a morning bubble bath because you know it's energy and it's all orangey smelling and stuff. Well, I mean citrusy. Uh, and it's also it just makes my skin feel good too. Now let me ask you. Have moisturize with that does it moisturize your skin no, i'm afraid to put it directly on my skin see because i have and i don't feel like it's very moisturizing i don't think they're good for that i was just curious to see oh, how it did also, on your skin i have very sensitive skin so bath and body works the way they've um, reformulated a lot of their lotions and creams and stuff it doesn't really affect my skin as long as i take my allergy pill i don't get any negative reactions or itchy or you know stuff like that okay let's keep with aromatherapy this was in mine too i believe this is stargazing meditation you yeah, only use this at night really mm -hmm. hmm. i just use it whenever yeah this is my go-to weekend body wash especially friday night saturday nights just just relax and it feels really good on my skin. And it foams well, too. What kind of scent would you say that has? Mm. It's very soft. I would say like baby lotion. Okay. All right. So let's talk about this. I'm heartbroken. If they brought this back, I would buy 10. I buy 10. Mineral bath soak. If they brought, I used all mine. If they brought this back, I would buy the entire stock. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> This, this stuff is amazing. So good. So good. It really, you could use this by itself and it, you, you wouldn't even have to uh, moisturize after your bath. That's mm. how moisturizing this um, mineral bath soap is. From the water line. Mm. Oh my, that's the best, in my opinion. No, that's it's the best. best thing they brought out. They need to bring this back. Bring oh my back. goodness, it's so good. That would have been, you all, this would have been, if I had any more, if I would have known he had it, this would have been in my Hidden Treasures video. I will link it above if you haven't seen it because this, y'all. And, and I've had that for three, I think three years now. I I have one more bottle. <gasps> he don't got one more bottle, y'all. I have one <laughs> more bottle. I'm getting that. I, I'll okay. just do squirt, squirt. No, I'm getting that. that's it. it. Oh, that's going to go missing, okay? Yeah, it's about to go missing after this video. What's that supposed to mean? I'm going to hide it. Well, I'm going to take this one. You can have that. No, I want the new one. Okay, so this is also, I believe, from the Waterline. This is the Moisture Lock Body Balm. So tell us about this. I've never used one of those. Now, this is really good for the summer. My skin is weird. I get dry skin during the summertime, but not during the wintertime. I don't know mm -hmm. why. It's weird. But this just really helps lock in the moisture, like with my um, knees, heels. Well, I would, I would recommend putting this on the, like, on, what is this, the bottom part of your foot? Because if you're wearing flip-flops or something, you'll slip and break your ankle, like I almost did. 
But it, it really traps the moisture in and it smells good too. But you can't really smell it. You only smell it for like a few minutes and then it's gone. But you So it's not for all over your, you don't use it all over. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't I mean, know. Didn't you get our mom, she mm -hmm. wanted to get something and our dad, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. So good for men and women. So this is one I'm just gonna show cause I forgot to show it with the Kaleidoscope body spray. You love the lotion too? Okay, and you would get some more lotion if you saw it. Now, True Blue Spa, I believe I had this in that Hidden Gems video. This is the Shea Butter. So why do you love it? I love it because, like it says, super rich, rich, <laughs> super rich body cream. It feels so good. They're so good. And also, I love that it doesn't, it doesn't have a fragrance. Yeah, now I don't love that. During <laughs> If I take a shower at night and I moisturize, I don't like smelling any type of fragrance, any, nothing like that on my body when I'm going to bed, when I'm try, well, trying to fall asleep. But, ugh, I don't know why I smelled it. It, just, I it, smell like it. <laughs> it feels amazing on your skin. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are so good. So these last three, I believe I talked about too, but I wanted to hear his thoughts. Oh my goodness. That's big. This is the honey body butter. Now mine is practically full. Look at his. I might have to give him mine if I'm feeling generous. You know, we might have to do a swamp. You know what I'm saying, okay? Now the honey line, if you have dry skin and if you don't have any um, skin reactions from things that contain fragrance, I would strongly recommend getting this because this stuff is super moisturizing. It lasts all day, all night, and- You smell yes, it. Yes, the fragrance lasts all day and all night. And I'm, I'm not even talking about reapplying it, just mm -hmm. one application. That's up strong. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, this is a unisex fragrance. Mm -hmm. You might not agree, but you know, that's your right. But to me, it is unisex and it smells great. Cause even though it's strong, when you mix it with things, I feel like you smell this more, at least for the first few hours, mm -hmm. but it mixes well with perfume, cologne. I do think this is unisex because. Especially it's, my yeah. Scott Porter um, colognes went um, paired very well with that um, body, what do you call it, cream? Well, yeah. Yeah, body butter. Body butter. So this is the avocado body butter. Why do you like that? And we just hope the wellness collection, some of it will be on sale. Now I like this because it kind of reminded me of a long time ago. 2006, when, when did you start going to Bath and Body Works? I think we just moved to Texas when mom got that job. Um, like this, this reminds me of cucumber melon. Oh, I hate cucumber melon. Don't make me oh, hate uh, avocado. I hate cucumber melon on me. It smells good on him. I can't stand it on me. But um, when I, I wore this a few days ago and when I was applying it, I didn't, it was very light. Uh, it's light, but heavy. It's a weird texture to you? Yeah, but once it got on my skin, it, my skin felt good and it paired well with my um, body spray and cologne. Now, what did you wear? Oh, what did I wear? Oh, I think I wore this when we went to go see Spider-Man. So, whiskey. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, so the last item for AJ, Adrian, recommendation. It's something I'm going to steal also. If I don't find me one. This is Frosted Coconut Snowball, their new Cloud Body Butter. Now, um, as you can probably tell, a lot of the stuff that, well, not a lot, but most of it, contains coconut. I, I just like coconut. Yeah, he does. And this, the consistency is light, but it's, it's, Whipped. Yes, whipped. It's creamy. That's just like it was strained. This is what we saw. Yeah. Yeah. 
and this feels like you're just applying air to your skin and it just makes your skin feel silky smooth and I don't care what you say no I, I'm a man I don't like having rough skin <laughs> even though I'm doing this I don't want to feel <laughs> I want to go Okay, so what would you pair this with? Mm. Oh, I need this back. Um, what is it? What I wore to the class party. You did? So, um, Fireside. Nick Jonas. Yeah, Nick Jonas, Fireside, Snowflakes. Flurries. Sn flurries. Okay. So, y'all, those were all of my brother's recommendations for the men out there for the upcoming SAS. And, y'all, I was going to do another part to this video. I don't know. Yeah, I think this is pretty long, which, you know, I don't care. Because <laughs> I like my long videos, even though my nephew be like, Dang, <laughs> anybody got time to watch? I'm like, shut up, Dutch. But yeah, so I don't mind long videos, but I think I'm just going to leave this for the men. But I want to thank Adrian for coming on my channel again. Y'all have been asking. Oh, Y'all have been asking for him. And you know what? You'd be like, oh, let your brother come on. You always mention him all this. And y'all going to give him a, a big head, a big ego, because he was like, the royalty is coming. I was like, well, you set your butt down, okay? Whatever. But he did a good job. I think he did a good job. So if y'all enjoy Adrian coming on my channel, telling us the men's perspective for Bath and Body Works, give this video a big thumbs up so, you know, I will know that you want him back. Because, you know, I'll yeah. ban him. Click, <laughs> smash, and touch the like button. Yes, all of that right there. Leave a comment. Tell me how he did. What's some stuff you like for your man? You know, we like to shop for everybody over here. Please share this video with everyone who loves Bath and Body Works and who's excited for what? The SAS. Okay. And please turn on your notification bell so you won't ever miss any of my videos, but especially the countdown series to the what? The SAS. Can we say S A S okay okay okay. So y'all, as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.